If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Today we are going to learn how you can find the inverse of a function in just four steps and we will also see at the end how you can verify that your result is true. So we have an example f of x equals to minus 2x plus 8 and step number one is what you have to do. You have to replace f of x by y. Replace f of x by y. This is the step number one. So it means if you have the function f of x equals to minus 2x plus 8, you can replace it as y equals to minus 2x plus 8. So this is the step number one. Now what is the step number two? Step number two is simplify equation one for x. So here this is an equation 1. So we can write as simplify equation 1 for x. It means you have to, um, um, you have to isolate the x from the given uh, from, uh, from the equation 1. How? Let's see. We have y equals to minus 2x plus 8. So it can be um, uh, what you have to do, you have to uh, you have to separate minus 8 from both sides. So it will become y, y minus 8 equals to minus 2x plus 8 minus 8. Then what you have to do, you will get y minus 8 equals to minus 2x. And in order to get the x, you have to move all the things with the, all the constants or the sign with the, towards the opposite side as x will be equals to y minus 8 divided by minus 2 and it can further, further be written as x is equals to minus y by 2 plus 4 if we simplify it further. So this is equal to x is equals to minus y by 2 plus 4 is the, um, um, is the equation having um, is, an equa is the equation in terms of is the equation in terms of x. We have to simplify the equation 1 in terms of x. Now, what is the step number 3? Step number 3 is replace x by f inverse y. So, the equation we have got in the step number 2 was x is equals to minus y by 2 plus 4. Now, we have to replace the x by f inverse of y. So, f inverse of y is equals to minus y by 2 plus 4. This is the step number 3. Now the last step is step number 4. In step number 4 what we have to do? We have to replace y by x. So replace y by x. So what we will get? We will get f inverse of x is equals to minus x by 2 plus 4. So this is the inverse of the given function that is minus x by 2 plus 4 that, uh, that is actually required. Now we can check whether this inverse is right or not by using the verification method of inverse functions that is let's see how you can verify the inverse function. Verification method is uh, we have already seen the concept of composition of function in our previous lecture. The same concept will be used here that we have to find what we have to do. We have to find the composition of f of the f and f inverse of x. How? Let's see. You have to prove one thing that is f of f inverse of x is equals to f inverse of f of x. If it is equal, that then me then that means that the, the that the inverse is right. That the inverse you have found is right. So let's found one by one the left and the right hand side that how they come that whether they come equal or not. So f of f inverse of x is equals to f of we have to replace the f inverse of x with minus x by two plus four. This by two plus four. That is equals to now we have to put this x value 
into the function that is uh, that is the original function that was f of x that is minus 2x plus 8. Now instead of x we have to put this minus x by 2 plus 4. So the function was minus 2 into x is minus x by 2 plus 4 plus 8. So we have to simplify it and by after simplification we will get x. So it means f of f inverse of x is equal to x. Now we have to find f inverse of f of x that will be f inverse of what is the f of x? f of x is the given function that is minus 2x plus 8. Now, now I have to find it like f inverse of minus 2x plus 8. Now we have to put this mi minus 2x plus 8 into the f inverse of x function instead of x. So I will put minus into minus 2x plus 8 divided by 2 plus 4. I have put these I put the value of x in this f inverse of x function. Okay, So what we will get? We will get 2x minus 8 divided by 2 plus 4 after simplification we will get x. So that means the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence the inverse that we have found is right. That is f inverse of x is equal to minus x plus 2 x divided by 2 plus 4. This is verified. So this is how you can verify your result of finding the inverse whether it is right or wrong. Let us have one more example. Example number 2 is f of x is equals to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So let us start by one by one. Step number 1. Step number 1 is Replace f of x by y. It will become y is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Now step number 2 is solve for x. You have to solve equation number 1. This is equation number 1 for x. Let us see. We have y is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So it will become x minus 1 into y equals to 2x plus 1 then xy minus y equals to 2x plus 1 so xy minus 2x equals to 1 plus y then taking x common y minus 2 equals to 1 plus y and x is equals to 1 plus y divided by y minus 2 so we have got the equation in terms of x now the step number 3 is I will write step number 3 here. Step number 3 is replace x by f inverse of y. So we will replace the x by f inverse of y as f inverse of y is equals to 1 plus y divided by y minus 2. Now the last step is step number 4 in which we have to replace y by x in the above equation as f inverse of x is equals to 1 plus x divided by x minus 2. So this is the inverse of the given function and we will have to use the same method of uh, uh, verification in order to verify whether this function, whether this answer is right or wrong. Th that was that we have to find, we have to do verification how? Just find the composition of two functions. Verification will be like by, you have to find what? You have to find f of f inverse of x that should be equal to f inverse of f of x. So this that's all from today's lecture and how you can find the inverse of a certain function. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.